attack started about 20 minutes ago. The reactor team managed to contact us before they went down, but there's no way our reinforcements can beat the hammers to the central chamber. Except for you. Report once you're in position. Hi, Jackie. Well, let's get rolling. The hammers have a hell of a head start. No time to do it the usual way. I'll be your handler on this one. That's not necessary. Sure it is, Jackie. I've always wanted to work more closely with you. Don't take it away. I know. What do they want with the reactor? That's the million dollar question, Jackie. Best case scenario, make some threats, shake us down. Worst case scenario, build this whole joint sky high. Problem is, ever since the Zaramon character took over, the hammers have changed. Changed how? They used to be your regular base-based bozos. Predictable and easy to manage. They stepped out of line, just made them with a carrot, then whack them with a stick, and the wheels keep turning. But now, they work differently. Now they have an agenda. The bozos with agendas are the worst. They no longer want my carriage. Good thing you act harder than a stick. So much chrome on these guys. Wonder if you've cut any of them before. I wouldn't know. Determined. Well, they better be. Once you pull a stunt like this, it's all or nothing. All the factions will be at their throat if they fail to secure the reactor in the bargaining chip. And they will fail. Can't we secure the reactor remotely? Why didn't I think of that? Oh, wait, I did. Zoe's busting her butt right now trying to do exactly that. But your late papa, the architect, made these 
thing's network unfriendly. Besides, even if we do prevent them from detonating it, they can still just break it. And we have enough of a power shortage as is. Why wasn't the reactor protected? It was. We have five guys guarding the approach. And Why wasn't the reactor adequately protected? Because of politics. There's nobody who can come close to it without all the other factions getting all twitchy. This mess is exactly why we need the Interface Council to work out. If all the gangs and factions are to play nice soon, Dharma will just fall apart right in front of our eyes. They're getting close. Expect heavy resistance. Now! A number? Let me put it down, Master. Will Bushido allow it? It will now. We'll meet by the gate. May we be free! Crying, no more. I close my eyes. <laughs> 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 
it's over. Forgive not this one's weakness, for he is not worthy. But through this sacrifice, carry forth the vengeance of the Ashura. May we be free! Threat neutralized? He's dead. Good. Glad I could help. My name is- Adrian Bakunin! Throw down your weapons and surrender! Heard that one before. In the name of the Interface Council, you're under arrest. Let's go. Understood. Now you show up. We're here, ain't we? Connor wants to see you. Sure he does.
Nazis. Was the old man any better than his evil copies? I don't know. Never met him. Sure he did. He just don't remember. Adam personally oversaw each and every GR's activation. Probably jerked off to his own genius while he was at it. trying to breach that terminal. It's operating on a completely different level. Should I go back? What do you think? Unless you're planning to smash your head through the gate, we can't really do anything to open it. Report to HQ. We need to discuss this. Stay sharp. This is the bad part of Dharma City.
Cyber Void Terminal. Told you she's an expert. She must have souped up the hideout's defenses. I hope it's not as bad as the cathedral one. Climbers, we need. Not gonna talk. Out your way. You can't hear me. You think you can break through these? Be my guest. <laughs> Just don't blame me if your brain gets fried. <laughs> are there? A couple. They're scattered throughout the city, but that's the only one big enough for Kira's equipment. Did you ever use them? I lived in one for a year, hiding from you. Dharma is still so empty. Dharma is still not safe. I know it's hard for you to believe, but the keys didn't only impress the people. They also protected them. From whom? Each other, mostly.
Master nor the Architect who doomed the tower. This whole project had failure built in from the start. How so? Limited space, limited resources, small population, no real plans or means to reclaim the outside. This building was never an arc. It's a fancy too. Runner. Knew it! You here to arrest me? No. You here to kill me? Sorry, ain't happening. Damn! I'm here to ask for your help. Why didn't you just say so? I'm all about helping people. Bakunin says you know about the Cyber Void. Adrian's alive? What a crazy day. Pack up. I need you to come with me. You heard the man, Kevin. We are going on an adventure. Let's get to it. You're here. Not really. But then again, neither are you. Hurry it up. We don't have all day. I thought only GRs can enter Cyberboy. That used to be the case. But now, with the proper skill set and hardware, anyone can do it. And who has them? Let's see. Me. That's it, really. I've seen Zoe access a cyber-like environment from a regular computer. And I've seen people licking ice cream through a window pane. It can be done, it's just not quite the same. I mean, respect to her for fixing you up as much as she did with the gear she had. Even if you are a bit... off. I'm done. 
Worship the architect. Worship? We borrow his logo and incidentally avenged him. That's it. Guy was a narcissist with a god complex. The suckers you're offing right now are about the only kind of people naive enough to worship him. Well, them and Zoe. Architect is a symbol, okay? I know he wasn't perfect, but he started out with good intentions. Join me in 
the true consciousness. Become one with Dharma. Leave behind fear and suffering. Leave behind greed and a need for control. Leave behind your ego. Is that him? <laughs> Leave him behind ego? Doesn't sound right. Did you think you were rid of me? That I would just vanish into thin air because you wished so? I know you're not him. Who are you? I am the man behind the curtain, and you shouldn't have. <laughs> Talk. 
Not much yet. 
His brain is alive, and he's putting up a hell of a fight. This is bad. We need to find Mitra before he makes his move. And we will. Just take it easy. This threat is bigger than anything you've faced before, Muller. Nobody asked for your advice, Commander Rasputin. Just let the Keymaster Jr. here work and we'll get- What the fuck? Holy shit. What was that? He's conscious. And he's just used to- Connor? Connor! Your old master's head is at your feet. Right where it belongs. Why are you doing this? I cannot stand and watch a free runner be disgraced as such servitude. Shake off your shackles, number, or die as a slave. We're under attack! The church is here! I'm going after him. I'm coming to No, you need to stay here and coordinate the defense. They won't listen to me. Those who want to live will.
Agreed. It's like an endless wave. Any ideas? <clears throat>
Perhaps you should look for an alternate entrance?
abort mission? No. What do you mean, no? He's out of here. Gone. I mean I'm going after him. Well, then you better step on it. The hatch is closing. And we won't be able to open it anytime soon.
What's that? I don't know, Chunk. How is the bike still working? I think it only affects biological material. Well, I don't have much of that. But whatever it is you have, you wouldn't have it anymore. True. Do you like killing? Is this some sort of test? Not at all. I'm just curious. I don't seek violence. Not what I asked. The road is closed here too. That's actually kind of weird. Seriously though, it looks like they know what they're doing. Setting up traps, closing the road. Ashura seems to really have taken over the outside in a way. You really need to be careful. We're on their job now. for you to test. Only my gear is good enough to 
track you out there. Either way, she has other stuff to worry about, so we're stuck with each other for now. Did she agree to that? Didn't have much of a choice. Sensors. Huh. I feel like I shouldn't be mentioning all of these locked gates at this point, but the amount of effort put into doing that is just crazy. They won't stop me. Bet.
distance might have what we need. How do you know? I mean, look around. That's the only building I can see that looks kind of normal.
Now I see where the creeps got their name from. Very funny. the connection. Somebody technologically advanced built those things. GRs and Ashura in particular are as advanced as it gets. Which means... They built themselves an army. Seems plausible. Question is, why and who built it exactly? Got a closer look? Hardly. But some details jump out at me. This is our tech. Juiced up and revamped, but still Samsara patterns. The second hologram from the reactor. Well, there you have it. That's their mechanic. Though, why wouldn't he drop by to resurrect his boss himself? Yoshido, regular Ashura are helpless inside the tower. So they sent in the only one nutty enough not to care. Makes sense.
put those beauties together, they didn't do it on the side of the road. What about all of those towers, gates, traps? You think he built it all himself? Most likely, judging by how advanced those creatures are. For all we know, he could have placed every brick himself. Go. What caused it? The climbers keep you in a closet or what? 
I know the theories. I want the truth. Then you better get yourself a time machine and a forensic team. Or I can give you a list of my favorite theories, ranked from a little bit wacky to batshit crazy. Here, 
Believe it or not, after seeing all of those monsters, I'm actually full of questions. Life is sacred. It is our duty to preserve it. To improve upon it. Sons of men are but a stepping stone. And so are we. What are you trying to do? To bury the old world. To carry the torch. To pave the way for the future. To burn down the shameful past. You want to destroy the tower? No. I want to make use of it. To reforge it. The citizens of the tower, the materials from which it was built. Dharma will become a new home for my scions. It will provide fuel, flesh, and metal. As my children's father, it is my duty to give it to them. From where I stand, you're just a parasite. But that might change soon. Dismantler wants to repopulate the Earth with his scions, probably using Dharma as a source of materials. What's wrong with all of them? Can't we all just get along? Come on, don't pretend that you don't find it fascinating. A little? Still? <sighs> the scions, huh? Well, didn't like sense anyway. Theory. Okay, this one you're gonna love. 
Mars developed a secret super weapon and decided to test it out on us. Mars? It's colonized. It was. Sadly, even if the burst didn't hit them, they couldn't have survived. The colony was entirely dependent on supply runs from Earth. So yeah, this one's dumber than aliens did it. Are there other burst survivors? Maybe. Got a couple of conspiracy theories on that as well. Want to hear my favorites? Pass. Moon people. What? Don't look up.
for you. I want to talk to Mitra. Tell me where he is. That I cannot do, member. Ashura is a blood oath. He will join us if the progenitor so wishes. Who? Or be dismantled otherwise. Your psions. They're not even alive. You're creating mindless monsters. Alive? Do they not breathe? Do they not eat and rest? Are they not fruitful? Do they not multiply? What does it mean? to be alive. These are drones. For three billion years, bacteria ruled the planet. For 300 million years, trilobites thrived in the primordial oceans. 300 thousand was all it took for the human race to rise and fall. And yet, they feel the world has ended with them. The age of man is over, but the story of creation goes on as it must. should do it. While you were busy, I managed to pinpoint the exact location of Mitra's signal. Let's get moving. Why didn't you say anything earlier? Didn't want to spoil the surprise. Strange. Keep moving. 
Just tell me what you see. Wait, I... It's... big. It's moving very fast. I don't... Kira, I need info. It's right... Uh -huh. Shit! Don't stop!
Matrix signal. Nearby. Check out the bunker ahead. I'm going in. Oh my. It looks like some kind of... Wait a second. Is that... Jack. Kira? Jack. Kira! Shit. Welcome back, Number. from me I didn't think I stole what all the data my client wanted satellite codes black sites Dharma project already out there why are you telling me this to piss you off I know your type I'm not walking out of here alive to just do it already about not walking out of here. But you have no idea about my type if you think I'd let you off that easily. What? Take him away. Cell block zero, solitary. And get started on tracking down his family. Let's see what he's got to lose. How did you get in here? Avatar, what the hell is happening? What did you do? Nothing. Just immobilized you. Scavenged through your memories a little. Found a lot of interesting things. Are you kidding me? Doesn't look like I have. 
listen. How long have I been here? Long enough to not be a threat to anyone. In Cyber Void, time bends to my will. I stumbled upon some files while going through your head. I believe that's what made the loop glitch and allowed you to leave. What files? Files that Architect left behind. I can't open them, as they seem to be somehow encrypted. But since it's your head, you will open them for me. Now why would I do that? Aren't you interested in seeing more? I don't even know what I saw. That means we can both learn. Or, you can always go back to the loop. I'm not going to force you to do anything. The choice is simple, really. Fine, asshole. <clears throat> always been like that. Actually, don't answer. I can just check. How much time until the Ashura are ready? Two to three months. Any faster and the bodies will not be stable. We need something sooner. I want him ready to launch by Friday. Well, he's not gonna be ready by Friday. Unless you want me to mince his brain instead of augmenting it. eager for our blood and we need a way to control it he's a thief not a policeman he was a thief now he's gonna be whatever I need him to be where's Mitra and Madu am I even still alive what exactly are you doing first define alive second they are not here anymore third relax these are not the questions you should be asking right now. <clears throat> Is that suddenly you don't want to kill me anymore? You're focusing on the wrong aspects of the situation you found yourself in. What are the correct ones then? The files. Why? Because it's in your best interest to do what I ask you to do. Because you want to get out of here alive. And what? This is suddenly going to give you a change of heart? Maybe. I want to see the rest. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I need you to trust me for now. Focus on the files. Speaking of, here's the third one. Everything from me. What else could you want? I want you to repay what you stole from me. No! Today you get your wish granted. Today you're allowed to die. I'll rip your heart out! I'll fucking burn this place to the ground! GR Unit Zero, codename Mitra, is online, beginning Hanson Hamada Cognitive Motoric Test. You will be answering my questions truthfully and immediately.
that ready to serve. Is that the birth of the first Ghost Runner? Who? Mitra. He used to be a human. I remember Adam mentioning this name a lot. Guy Gs. But I never connected that to him. There is no way he survived all of those augmentations. What are you saying? Mitra is not who we think he is. He's not who he thinks he is. What's the deal with all of you anyway? We served Adam, just like you and every other Ghost Runner. But our free will was a bit different from what you remember or don't remember. Bushido was a physical restriction, not mental. Nothing stopped us from talking and thinking. Eventually, Mitra started plotting. He wanted to set us free. He turned us against Adam. But once the truth got out, the newer models were sent to hunt us down. Mitra was caught, turned off and hidden. Madu was banished outside. Aruman rewarded for his loyalty as he was the only one who didn't participate. And finally, I, dismembered, kept as a trinket in Adam's office, retrieved by Madu years after Adam's death. Madu survived, and I, without having much of a choice, decided to join him. He's the one behind most of it, really. I only wove the web we all needed. Your body will die, and you will have all the time in purgatory to think about your actions. Then you better pray it stays like this. The day will come when you won't be there to stop me. Three weeks. You serious? 
Good we talk before you mess with time. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Kevin? Hi there. Let me get that for you, buddy. Kira, come in. This feels... strange. What? Having a body again. You're in for a ride, then. Kira, can you hear me? This is Ghost Runner Jack of the Climbers. Can anyone hear me? I don't think they can. It looks like it's just you and me. That's great. slowed me down, but I'm fine. I'll explain later. Jack! I thought you released your life. Did you get through? Hell yeah! Guy, Jack's alive! I see Kira finally learned to share her gear. Wait, what? He's alive? Yes, he is! Come here! Hi, Jack. Guys, we don't have time for this. Jack, can you hear me? Hi, Zoe. Coming as we speak. I'll be there soon. That's good. Please hurry. Architect coming to let them out of the tower. 
How did that work out? Well, that's the good news. The church was dissolved. Permanently. Sorry, gotta go. Bakunin! Finally! Thought you'd never show up. Go to hell. I'll end you for this. Wait, where is Mitra? Ah, so that's how you're here. Answer me! To be betrayed by a brother is a tragedy. But to be betrayed by both of them... That's a funeral.
silent this whole time. I didn't want to interrupt your reunion. What do you think about any of this? I'm a little surprised you didn't mention it to anyone. We all need to be focused. Please don't make me regret that.
drugs in a while. Not sure if I remember how to. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. you have a body. Ever thought of building one? Are you asking if I might take over animals? No, but since you mentioned it... At first, having a body was all I was thinking about. Eventually, I realized that Silverboard is just better. Physical boundaries don't apply to me. Pain doesn't exist unless I want it to. I can mix everything with nothing, however I please. I have lived through the subjective experience of 10,000 years passing by. I am the first being in existence to truly transcend the flesh. So to answer your question, I couldn't care less about having a body. Not anymore. I don't enjoy being yours either, so just please plug me back in. HQ, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's your status, Jack? I'm here. Plenty of scions around. What the hell are they doing up there? They might have followed Mitra. Hard to tell. Either way, I'm pushing through them. Good. Just keep me posted, then.
this. How are you going to fight him? To the death. Jack! Well, he's got a 50% chance of winning. Either he does, or he doesn't. Offline. Told you. This one only leads to the lower floors anyway. That one's smooth. Told you.
I've been meaning to ask. Back then, when the hunt for Ashura started, was I responsible for... No, you weren't fast enough. Honestly, I find it fascinating that you were the one who outlived everyone else. I didn't. Climber saved me. to say is, the Interface Council could use your help. Helping them would mean hunting others. I don't want that. So what you're saying is, you're just going to exist there. Whatever that means, yes. I reject any further participation in reality. What if the power goes out? One day, it will be for everyone. chances for defeating Mitra. Yeah. I'm not sure. If we make it before, I'd say our chances are looking optimistic. If we don't, I can't have a problem anymore. That's weirdly comforting. You're welcome.
thought you wanted me to witness something. Sure did. I was hoping to show you a finished piece. But since you're here, I might guide you through the artistic process as well. Can't wait. Oh. Care to explain anything? Explain what? I don't care for your understanding. Isn't this something assholes like to do? <laughs> Cute. Nothing to back your actions. And who are you to judge? How many lost their lives on your journey? It's different. Of course it is. You're a glorified weapon, that's what you are. A brainless tool. A machine. A killer. I couldn't care less about your opinion. Nothing left to give up. Stop Stop this madness, Mitra. Rahu. Well, now it got interesting. This is your last chance to give up. And you really think I'm going to take it? The other option is death. Choose carefully. Already did. So be it. Come here, you sweet piece of shit. I'll wipe the floor with your corpse. Is that all you got? Moves. Where'd you learn that? 
Is she our retirement home? Work we built in your image, Gaijis. What? Watch your mouth or I'll rip it right out of your fucking face! So it's all about vengeance, huh? To be honest, I didn't expect much from you. Shut up and fight me! You think you can win? <laughs> You're ridiculous. I'll cut you like a pig! I know you didn't choose your fate, but all of this could have been avoided. You're the one who chose this, and it's time to pay the price. Now I've about fucking had it! This isn't you fucking trash! 